Hello everyone, welcome to my stop on the hop today. There is the sketch I'm going to be using today. I'm just gonna do two photos today. I had big, huge plans of doing eight photos, but I kind of ran out of time and I really wanted to finish my last layout using my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit for February. So I decided it was time to combine. <laughs> So you can see the background there. Uh, it is a mixed media background. It uses a couple of shimmers paints. It's actually one of those things where I was doing a background through a stencil and I ended up with extra paint and so I just kind of splashed it all over another piece of paper. And now I have a background. <laughs> I do that quite often. I'm showing you here the sketch I'm gonna be using. It is from uh, Page maps. I wasn't sure if I would have the, um, I wasn't sure if I'd showed you the sketch or not. If you've never been to my channel before, hello, hello, and welcome. We have lots of fun here. I am a paper crafter and I do all different sizes and all different kinds. You'll see everything from cards to traveler's notebooks. Um, just everything, flip throughs, hauls, I do it all. Uh, I love paper, that is my main thing. I have an abiding love for stamps as well, so you'll find lots of stamped in, stamping tips, tricks, ideas. Um, I teach mixed media background classes on my website, uh, so those are super fun too if you wanna check them out. I am going to be using both sides of this Webster's Pages paper. And I'm just cutting apart the, the pieces that I want from the cut apart sheet and then I flipped it over and did a couple of uh, just some strips from the pattern as well. I am scrapbooking some photos today of my niece. I have two boys myself, but I have three nieces that I am incredibly close to, and you will see lots of photos of them as well. You'll also see lots of photos of my family. I am the oldest of seven. I have five sisters and a brother, and we all have families, and we all swap pictures, so you're never quite going to see the same kids all the time on my channel, that's for sure. Um, I apologize. My manicure... Uh, kind of went haywire on me and um, it will be done by the time this it will be fixed by the time this video goes up but the day that I had to shoot this it was still kind of uh, messed up I had uh, my sister is a nail polish technician she's a nail artist she does the most beautiful work and um, she usually has my nails looking amazing um, but she had was training someone new and they did my manicure and uh, yeah, the middle fingers fell off, both of them. So we're just gonna roll with it, okay? So I'm going to cut this blue paper to map both of my photos. This is a paper from Paper House Productions. The kits I am the kit I am using today is my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for February. Um, you can find in my playlist a uh, playlist that says um, how to kill a kit with style. Now it says February 2019, but it should really just say February because uh, I've been doing how to kill a kit videos for a couple of years. And if it is in February, if it is my February kit, then it will be in there, whether it's 2018, 2019, 2020, they're all right there. Um, and then you can go back and take a peek at all the things that were in my kit. So I love that placement for my photos. That's where I'm gonna keep everything. You see how I cut the thin strips? I fishtailed the ends and I have them just all layered up and ready to go. So now I'm gonna do that thing I do best. If you um, are a longtime subscriber, you know I had to get out the scissors. Oh my word, I almost said fiskers. I don't know why I said that. My scissors are not fiskers. Um, I got out my fussy cutting scissors and I'm going to fussy cut all of these beautiful florals. Well, just two, but still they're gorgeous. By the magic of YouTube, I am not going to make you watch me fussy cut all of those flowers. You just get to watch me put it all together. Make sure to head down below and uh, check out all the amazing YouTubers that are a part of this hop. Christine and I put the hop together and we chose the YouTubers that we watched. So these are the girls that um, 
I am, that Christina and I are most inspired by. These are the girls that we consistently watch their videos when they upload. Um, you'll find that there's a lot of different names on there. Maybe you'll find um, a YouTuber you've never heard of before. Maybe you'll find someone that um, does just your style. You'll notice from the hop that I don't um, always... I don't watch scrapbookers that scrapbook like me. <laughs> I am inspired by people who scrapbook completely different than I do, uh, which is totally cool. I'm also inspired by card makers and pocket page, people that do pocket pages and traveler's notebooks. And so um, as you're flipping through and you're like, I don't know why Sarah would watch her. She does blah, blah, blah. And Sarah doesn't do that. You're right. I don't. And that's why I love to watch people that do other things. <laughs> on YouTube. Anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and figure out where I want these squares and then I'm going to play with my title. So for my title, I'm using two completely different fonts. Um, in two, com I'm going to use these little pink polka dot ones and I'm also going to use those Maggie Holmes ones. I'm going to give it a bouncing line so the letters are going to go up and down and they're going to alternate. I did this to allow me to use up more of these packs of thickers that were in my kit. And I love how this, my um, title ends up kind of blending in really, really well. You can still see it, but it, it definitely like it's the same color tones. And then I have this beautiful epoxy flare that has adorable, cute little elephants on. I get my epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. And these elephants were so adorable. They needed to come home to me. And I knew exactly when I saw them what pictures I was going to use them on. So I decided to put one of them in between the two names on my title. So the title of the page is Ella Bella because this is my niece. And that is her nickname. And that's what I call her all the time, Ella Bella. Okay, so... I have everything kind of where I want it. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my tape runner and start taping things down. If you watched my video yesterday, you heard me kind of say how much I had wished that I had inked the edges of part of that layout, and I'm not gonna forget to do it today, so I'm gonna ink them all up with Hickory Smoke Distress Ink. No layout on my channel would be complete without sequins. I add them every chance I get. These are Opal Mist sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, uh, so in all honestly, honesty, Spiegel Mom Scraps are the only sequins I use. <laughs> I have been on her desi the design team for Spiegel Mom Scraps for four years. I love her sequin mixes. They're stunning and beautiful. She always hits them right out of the park. And I'm just gonna add little clusters in my three little areas of embellishment. These are the opal mist sequins in case you are interested. And uh, yes, I am a sequin girl. Love, love, love them so much. All right, I'm gonna get done sprinkling up these sequins. Here come the close-ups. Be sure to go ahead and follow along with the hop. Um, as of me recording this, we haven't set the, the um, hop link or the hop list up yet. So I'm not sure who's ahead of me or behind me, but I guarantee you that they are fabulous. All right, guys, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.